Branks Fusion Knee Braces are designed to provide support, stabilization, and pain relief for patients who need ligament support or who are suffering from unicompartmental osteoarthritis on one side of the knee or the other. The braces are comfortable, simple to apply, easily adjustable for a personal fit, and feature user-friendly hinges to control the patient's range of motion or provide the right amount of force to relieve osteoarthritis pain. When worn correctly and for the length of time determined by a doctor, fusion braces help patients enjoy daily activities while reducing knee pain and increasing confidence. So is your knee still bothering you? Yeah, a little bit. Well, what I have is the fusion knee brace from Bragg. It's an easy to use design and should allow you to go back to those daily living activities very, very comfortably. Great. Fusion braces will not prevent or reduce all injuries. Proper orthopedic care and activity modification are also an important part of a safe treatment program. Fusion patients should consult with a medical professional regarding safe and appropriate activity levels while wearing these braces. For sliding activities, use a slide guard with the brace. The initial application of fusion braces must be performed by a medical professional only. Proper application of fusion starts with releasing all of the straps. So it's easy to do, just fold the hook back on itself onto the strap and make sure that you do that with every one. Okay. Now, when you put it on, you want to make sure that your knee is flexed at about 30 degrees. Your foot is in what we refer to as the gas pedal position. That's perfect. All right. And you slide this on so that the center of the hinge, if you look at it from this angle, runs across, imagine a line across the top of your kneecap. Okay. So you want that line right there established, just like that. I can see that a lot of the straps and strap pads are a little long. And I can tell because when you look at how the strap lays down, for example, if I'm just looking at the strap, what I don't want is to have the strap hang over too far. I want the, the tab to be right in the middle. Also, the, the pad that's on the strap, if by tight, winds tightening, I find that that pad comes in, in the mm -hmm. deer, that's not good either. So, easy enough. Remove the strap pad, take a pair of scissors, and trim the length because all I want to do is put it in the middle of the leg and with the strap just shorten it by unhooking the hook faster on the back end of the strap and shortening this way. And that way that tab ends up just right in the middle. Okay. Tighten each strap snugly, but comfortably, and with equal tension so that no one strap is tighter than another. With the brace on the leg, press the rigid shin cuff on the front of the brace flat against the leg and fasten strap 1 behind the calf. Fasten strap 2 in the back above the knee. Make sure the rigid thigh cuff on the front of the brace is pressed flat against the leg and fasten strap 3 behind the hamstring. Next, fasten strap 4 in the front, below the knee. Fasten strap 5 in the back, below the knee. Be sure to fasten the straps in the right order. Stand up or straighten the leg to fasten strap 6 in front, above the knee. But I think it's important to know that before you begin your activity, that you do a, a brief warm-up, maybe five minutes, and then go through the retightening and the whole sequence of strap application. It's important. Okay, no problem. After five minutes of activity, sit with the knee bent at a 30-degree angle. Loosen, and then retighten each strap one at a time in the proper order to adjust brace fit. While retightening the straps, be sure the brace hinges align with the top of the patella or kneecap. Improper strapping technique could result in discomfort. If pressure is felt on the thigh or shin, stand up straight and loosen the strap slightly. Press the rigid cuffs flat against the front of the thigh and shin and then retighten all the straps.
To remove the brace, unfasten all the straps 1 through 6 and remove the brace. Fold the Velcro tabs back against the straps for easy storage or reapplication of the brace. If the patient has a posterior cruciate ligament PCL injury, the strapping sequence is different. Please refer to the instructions for use for the correct strapping order. Patients experiencing any increased pain, swelling, or any adverse reactions while using fusion braces must contact a healthcare provider immediately. Fusion and Fusion Women's Braces have hinges to control range of motion. Fusion OA, which stands for osteoarthritis braces, have a thumbwheel hinge to control the amount of force exerted against the knee. Let's start with Fusion and Fusion Women's range of motion hinges. Fusion braces ship with 10 degree hinge extension stops installed, with additional flexion and extension stops in the box if needed to limit hyperextension of the knee. To change the hinge stops, remove the condyle pads held in place by the Velcro fasteners. To replace the pads, be sure they are positioned properly and firmly push them into their Velcro fasteners. Next, use a screwdriver to remove hinge screws. Remove existing stop, insert the new stop, and replace the screws. Be sure the screws are seated and snug. Both medial, inside hinge, and lateral, outside hinge stops must be identical in degrees. The Fusion OA brace has a thumb wheel hinge which makes it easy to adjust. With the brace properly applied, OA pain symptoms can be relieved by applying a lateral or medial force to the outside of the knee by turning the circular dial or thumb wheel in the hinge clockwise. With the knee bent in either a seated or standing position, turn the circular dial to move the condyle pad inward toward the knee. The window on the top edge of the hinge will display settings ranging from 0 to 8 in 0.5 millimeter increments in a Fusion OA brace or 0 to 10 millimeter increments in the Fusion Lateral OA brace. The higher the number, the greater the force being applied. When adjusting the thumb wheel to apply force, Make changes in small increments. To reduce the force, turn the dial counterclockwise to a lower setting. Make sure that the large gel condyle pad is attached to the condyle basket on the side where the thumb wheel is located. Frame pads, condyle pads, straps, and strap pads must be removed and cleaned regularly depending on activity level and perspiration. Hand wash in cold water with mild soap, rinse, and air dry. Occasionally, apply a dry lubricant to the hinge, especially after use in water. The frame pads are held in place by Velcro fasteners. Carefully pull the pads off the brace frame. To replace the pads, be sure they are positioned properly and firmly push them onto their Velcro fasteners. The knee hinge condyle pads are held in place by Velcro fasteners. Simply pull the pads off the hinge plates. To replace the pads, be sure they are positioned properly and firmly push them onto their Velcro fasteners. To remove the brace straps, loosen the Velcro tabs at each strap end and feed the straps through the anchor points on each side of the brace until the strap is free. Be sure to replace the straps according to the strap number location. Carefully read fitting instructions and warnings prior to use to ensure proper performance of the brace. Follow all instructions. Failure to properly position the brace and fasten each strap will compromise performance and comfort. If you have any questions about strap number locations or how to apply fusion braces, refer to the fitting instructions. Patients with questions about knee bracing should call their health care provider.